Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys are my old time subscriber, thank you so much for returning back. I don't have any makeup on. This video is going to be a makeup video where I'll be applying my makeup. I just didn't want it to do just makeup. I wanted to give it a little bit twist. It's nothing brand new. I've seen people do it many times. I have done it long long time ago when I first started my video. As I was going through my makeup, I saw I have ton of e.l.f. makeup that actually made me wanted to do one brand makeup. As the channel goes on, I wanted to do more of the product I would enjoy or I like it or I love it. I was going through my makeup collection and I saw a few of these palettes that I had it for a long time that I never ever used so I didn't want to just dump it, wanted to give it a good try. And I also found this very, very old, I think I bought like a few years ago. Uh, when it first came out, it was collab between somebody that I don't know. All this product that you see that I didn't use is basically a restock. I thought that was so good, bought the restock, but I never used it. I have um, my regular stuff that I use every day, like my CC cream, I love it so much. And the new product I recently bought and I fell in love, Putty Primer. I recently happened to get my hands on this and I totally love it. And I also bought this tiny eyeshadow. I only got one of these. And it is one of those which are so affordable and you can carry it almost everywhere else. You can get like a decent regular neutral eyeshadow. You don't have to get like ton of product just this one you are fine just doing a simple eye makeup and I also got a new shade just in case I didn't try it also wanted to try their mascaras I got two of them I feel like I will enjoy both of this very much so I got both few other stuff here and there I will tell you guys in details what am I using which one is new if I love it or not so there can be hit and misses if you guys are starting your makeup collection or you, you are just into makeup this is a perfect brand to get into and also completely a whole makeup stack that's when i started i was totally in love with elf product at one point i had almost everything the very first memory of my elf is like i wanted to have almost everything that this brand had to offer back in those days they used to have like a pot cream mm, eyeshadow I guess I don't know it was like a cream shadow but on a pot I had almost every shade I had all the lip liners almost everything that I could think of and I was so obsessed with this brand so if you guys are new into this makeup world I would highly suggest not just elf but one of nicer really affordable and good product in this entire collection of elf some of them I really love it these are like my holy grail. I will buy again and again. Some of them are really good. Yes, of course, there are tons of misses too, but I also feel like it depends on person to person. Not everything out there. I'm gonna love it. Uh, that was again like the most longest intro. Nothing new. I guess you guys will get used to it. Me talking and face is all clean and moisturized. On my face, I am taking e.l.f poreless uh, putty primer and this is on the shade sheer it is very sheer i do love it the only downside is you actually have to dip your finger in and i don't have any other applicator designated for primer they do have a different tool for the putty primer which i don't have it so my hands are clean i just wash it so i'm just gonna use my finger i'm just gonna put this little by little and I will make sure I had it all over my face evenly coated you don't see much different color wise but your skin does feels very smooth I hope it works much on pores I don't have big big pores I do have pores almost everybody does I don't notice it my hair is a mess at the moment so just if there is a flyaway and it looks a little wonky and getting your eyes just on those strands of hair. I'm so sorry about it. So for my foundation base, you guys know, Camo CC Cream. This is on the shade Tan 425. I actually had the first impression for this on my channel. So if you guys have not seen it, you guys should go ahead and see it. I am really sorry. I can actually see it in the viewfinder. I am getting annoyed. I just washed my hair 
today, all this flyaway. Hairs are always manageable on the second day because of the oils and all the products you have. It kind of gets tamed not on the first day. So I'm so sorry about it. I don't know what to do. And I also got the same one, but on different shade. I don't quite remember. I love the formula, but the shade kind of turned out okay at the end, but this was not quite the match. So I got a shade lighter. This is on medium 375N. I'm gonna mix this two shades and uh, see. I have not used this, this is brand new. And I'm pretty sure this shade was a little lighter or something. I got both of the shade up here. This is the new one, which I said a shade lighter. It is much lighter and it does have a very pink yeah, pink undertone and this is very neutral even though both of them are neutral. I'm taking a damp beauty sponge from Real Technique. I am trying to do the tools and makeup brushes, tools and makeup brushes from drugstores. I do have few elf brushes that I really love so I'll be using that. If not then I'm trying to do more affordable brushes even though I only own cheap makeup brushes that are actually good. So it's very rare. You guys will see me with a very high-end makeup, if that makes sense. There is a neighbor's dog barking. So if you guys could hear the spark, it is kind of light. But let me see, I might just have to use my older shade. So both of the foundation are not my shade at all but I'll make it work. I only use darker shade, the tan 425 neutral, because the medium 375 neutral was very, very pink and light for me. This is also not quite the match. I'm just basically having this foundation just to have a very plain canvas. It does have a pretty decent coverage, but I could still see my, you know, scar acne kind of peeking through. It has a very neutralizing thing to it. And it's not drying since I have a very dry skin. It makes it very dewy combined with the primer. This duo is amazing for dry skin. I cannot vouch for oily. You guys can see how dewy my skin is. I want to go ahead and do my eyebrows. This is ultra precise brow pencil on neutral brown. I also do have brow gel. I basically talked this about in my previous video. I'm not going to talk about this but one's on brunette, one's on deep brown. I've never used this one and this brow gels are kind of okay, not the best. I've seen better. It does have like a very precise pointy thing with a spoolie, so let's see how it is. It does look like a very cool tone, ashy color. I kind of like this eyebrow pencil. Not that bad as you guys can see this one. I've not done it, but see, it's very natural, but not the creamiest, but who can fight for the price? Yeah. So I'm gonna finish the eye and be back with the brow gel. I would say the shade is pretty good. It looks very, very natural. And I'm gonna take deep brown brow gel and just set my eyebrows so the flyaway won't come down. Now I'm gonna take this Hydrating Camel Concealer Setting Finish on Deep Olive. I also have on the shade Tan Neutral, which is again very pink, same like the foundation. So I'm gonna try this. If it is too dark, I'm gonna go on and jump into the pink one and see. I'm gonna basically put it on my eye so I can put on eyeshadow. I don't have any eyeshadow primer. Yep. I'm gonna blend that and see how it goes because this one is pretty, pretty yellow. And to set my face, I'm taking Hello Glow Setting Powder. This is a new one. I recently got it from Target on the shade Medium Beige. It actually says to pour your thing up here. And like I said, this is all brand new. Okay. Pour it a little bit over here. I'm gonna quickly blend so it won't crease. And I'm gonna set my face with the same sponge, but I'm gonna take this cleaner, flatter side and go on with my eye area and then to my 
face. I'm gonna dab a little bit on this side. It does have a shade. I don't know if it's gonna be lighter or darker. And it does have like a tiny glitter, but not like chunky glitter, like very sheeny shimmer. I don't know how it's gonna go on the eye area. It did set my face. I'm gonna say the foundation and the concealer are pretty good. I'm not sure keen about the shade and the finish. It just gave me a very dark, cool undertone that I'm not a great fan of at all. I want to jump into my eyeshadow, which is this. This is Bite Size Eyeshadow, and this is on the shade Cream and Sugar. This has a very, like a, on the darkest tone. It has a brown and shimmer. I'm just gonna do like a very, very simple eyeshadow look. Just using this and see where can I go from or what can I do. It's not the best eyeshadow look. I had this blush correcting contouring brush and bronzer powder. I used the contour shade right here at this one to crease out my eyes. No, first I took the shade all over my eyes so whatever shadow I put at the top would pop up more. Then I used the contour to crease out and then I used the very darkest shade at my outer corner. And I used this kind of champagne goldish color when I actually put it on. It was very silvery. And I tried to use this. Wasn't fond of this eye look going on because probably it was in the cooler eyeshadow range. This is all over my eyes, all the sheen, all the glitter you see. It came out to be very cool toned, metallic, smoky eye kind of thing. I'm gonna quickly go do my under eye shadow and then come back. I have this brand new eyeliner, Edge Tool Proof Eyeliner Pen. I have never used this before. I'm not keen on this eyeshadow, so I'm gonna put it on this liner and see if I could manage it. If not, then see how it goes with all my blush. This is my attempt wing liner, which I totally fail, but I'm going nowhere so it's totally fine. Just be careful, this eyeliner is waterproof so it dries out pretty quick before you can actually try to maneuver it, otherwise it's very fine. The felt tip liner is pretty hard, but it can be very precise. I don't do much winged eyeliner. So for the blush, I'm using their primer infused blush which i love very much this is one of my favorite favorite blush i've been using it for years i don't think they make this shade they still have the blush but they don't have the particular shade it's on always fiery it is very loud orangey pinkish shade i do really love it but before that i'm gonna take the contouring shade from the brush and bronzing powder and see it looks pretty light It didn't do anything at all, but it's totally fine. To apply my blush, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. number 101. I think this is their powder brush, like the big powder brush, but I use it for blush, which applies my blush pretty amazing. 
because I don't do one particular area of focus. Bronzer, contour kind of blush, if I'm not contouring or bronzering. So this blush is pretty soft. I have had it for a couple of years, more than that few years. So if you get this, grab this, pretty affordable. My blush is all done. I really like to apply my blush with this brush. I usually just focus it at the center and the outer one kind of blends it. So I just like to do it this way. It looks warmer and blushed out so I don't have to worry about contouring or bronzing at all. And I just love the way it applies, the way it makes my cheek looks with the blush. For the highlight, I didn't see any shade that I actually like. For example, I had this palette from this one, this is brand new, but I don't see any shade that I would actually like, so I'm just gonna use my all-time OG favorite highlighter. This is their baked highlighter on the shade Moonlight. It is a very champagne-y, pink silvery kind of shade. I think it will go pretty good with my eyes. I'll be taking another e.l.f. brush from the same line. This is 107. So basically the whole line from this collection is pretty good. To set my face, I have this brand new Dewy Setting Coconut Mist. This is pretty new for me. I don't own a setting spray from e.l.f. So I have no clue. I'm just gonna set my face, let it dry and see. So here's the mist. It's pretty aggressive. I might have to kind of dab it, blend it after I set my face. It has a very light, not light, just have a coconutty smell. Mm. For my mascara, like I said, I got two. This is Lashed Love Volumizing Mascara, and this is Big Mood Mega Volume. I'll be using this one. This is Elf Big Mood Mega Volume Lifting Mascara Hourglass Brush. This is what the packaging looks like. So here's the mascara. I really don't think so. It catches up on camera. It did make it separate. It did separate my lashes and make it longer. I feel like the liner is not letting it see. I've learned that it takes at least a week or two after you open up a tube of mascara to have a full potential of their formulation. I think I'm gonna like it. I'll just apply it for a week or two and see. So far, so good. I don't hate it. I'm almost done. All is left is the lips. I don't have any lip liner from e.l.f. I almost made it with everything in this video except the lip liner. So this is by Flower. Might be a little expensive compared to e.l.f. I didn't see any lip liner when I was trying to get through Target. This is on the shade Toffee. I just love this lip color. It just makes my or it just matches with my skin tone and my lip color. I did overline a little bit as you guys can see especially my upper lips I'm not gonna use the clear gloss I'm probably gonna use in one of these two this is very shimmery this is more gonna be like lip gloss and this is like a very opaque -y. this matches more with the lip liner hmm let me try this I've never tried this formula So guys, that completes my video. I'm not too keen about the lip shade. I think it kind of goes with my face with the blush and my eyes shadow. Being totally a mess. I think mess altogether kind of 
is going well together that's what i meant to say so guys thank you so much for hanging out with me if you guys like this video please leave a comment down below give it a big thumbs up and also let me know if you guys have any elf product that you die for or you vouch for it so i can try it i'll be back again with my next video don't forget to tune in take care of yourself and stay safe i'll definitely see you next video bye